And our troops amass on the border here. I don't believe anyone has joined them yet. I, li I really like that. That Dutch sheet. They, they have really nice crests. Look at that. It's really lovely. Oh. I don't think that's... We'll see how much that is. All right. So the flanker goes on the flank. And this man goes over on the other flank. Eventually they stop moving about and they will just accept being run over. So that is what we shall be doing. Okay, so these guys have become tributary to China. Interesting. Not the worst gig in the world to have. Everything that is called Yuan is basically China. I don't know what this thing is, though. Never seen this thing. Okay, we've taken a few prisoners. There's a bit of a battle going on where our troops are just sitting around waiting to join up with the main army. So they thought they could take advantage of the situation. Well, they're not wrong. They are pretty much taking advantage of the situation. However, did not turn out just as well as they had hoped. Speaking of not as well as they had hoped, I'm a little bit unhappy with the fact that we are not gaining any sort of, uh, you know, any sort of battle points. What score from this battle point? What's wrong with me? <laughs> Battle points. So we split up into our uh, two armies. Why? Because they're going to be wandering about uh, pretty annoyingly. And we kind of want to catch them as they do. While still getting some siege work done. Ah yeah, just walk in there. It doesn't matter. It's one anyway. I just want to prevent them from walking away. <laughs> And I don't want to have all my people die to attrition as they sit around. So we will besiege the capital as well as um, the capital of the duchy that we are aiming to take. What is this? There's 180 people just kind of standing around there. Oh. Oh, we are... Losing a bunch of people here, so we'll split up even further. You guys can join. I think... I think I had someone who has a siege skill. No? Maybe we can find someone who has a siege skill. We reset, load our main filter. Search everywhere though. And we look for... Ah, there. There we go. Invite to court. Architect is also an option. Doesn't have to be Siege. And there's only one Siege dude. I think I just invited that. No, I invited another one. So let's see if there's an Architect, maybe. Nope. No Architects. Alright. So what they're doing... I think... Is they're going around... Trying to cross over here, out into my lands. And I don't want that. I don't care for it. So, this commander doesn't need to be a commander. This guy does. And we will put him in charge of this army. He doesn't need to do anything but be a good siege commander. So everyone else who has any sort of military prowess will be put into this army and sent off to make sure they don't do any silly stuff in our backyard while we don't look. That are things don't like killer. All right, we might catch them out here, but it's in unfavorable terms for us. 
We will still engage and pull together our troops. Oh, actually, that didn't... That, that worked out better than I expected. Taking a bunch of prisoners here. We will cross here. And attack them. Oh, wow. Special tithe in Beirut. That is a lot of money. 353 gold. Time to go on a spending spree. We will have a Kuzba. We will have a Kuzba. We will have the most expensive silly thing we have, which is the camel riding grounds. <laughs> and there we go. Making good use of that dough. Of that money. Alright, let's take this army crossing a major river. Oh, it's just a river crossing. This one would be a major river, cro river crossing. River, yeah. Okay, while it's looking kind of okay for us, it's pretty even. I'm not trusting this, so we will send reinforcements just to make sure. Nothing odd happens here. As I said, I have a few bad experiences in the past with attempts like these. So I'd rather make sure. And we'll take the bigger of the two armies and set them down here. Actually, we will set them down here. So we siege equally everywhere. Get stuff from his territory. At this point, we don't care about counter-sieging anymore. He might do it, but... Oh, but I, I do care a little bit about that, though. Him crushing my retinues over there. That That is... That is... Uh, hmm. Yeah, that is not ideal. I don't like that. The Beirut band is on contract for Alexandria. Interesting. Uh, where did I raise these? Where did I pop up? Over here. Right then. Let's get our Mamluk friends out here to help defend home. Oh, are you kidding? The Crusaders actually won against the Aztec Empire. Edo von Hohenstaufen, which is one of the more famous German-Austrian? It's, it's always Bavarian-Austrian-German on these uh, old king families. Interesting. Well done. Well done indeed. Crowned by Ooh, Crusader King. That Those are some so cool things. I, I really love these, these traits. These are really, really cool. Add so much flavor to the game. Really. What? Where did the... How are these only 188 anymore? Oh, ho, ho. oh we'll get our Mamluks. Just in case. Ah, there's another 3,000 moving around. What? Why are you running all the way over there? Are you kidding? Ah, oh, well. Our Mamluks are on contract to deal with that. Little nuisance there. Let's hope no one joins them now that the Crusades are over. Oh no, the Knight Hospitaler have. How many troops they got? Not all that many, it's okay. We can deal with that. We will live with our guy doing weird things. All fine. Let's see. We have a bunch of prisoners. Can we make a bunch of gold? Not a lot. Ah, uh, that's okay. Enough gold. 46, 10, 14. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. A successful jihad in Persia. What? Oh, the ab. Oh, the ab. What? God is going crazy. Successful jihad against this big thing from these 
How did they do that? That is crazy. All these holy wars leading to stuff. Now our holy war please lead to something too. That would be lovely. That would be great. That would be fantastic. Let's get our good leaders in here. Well, our good-ish leaders. Some of them are really great. Ah, the Knight Hospitaler joined because they have a little bit of a holding here. Let's hope no one joins. Ooh, the Mamluks are real quick. There they go, earning their keep. And we still earn enough money, it's okay. The Mamluks are a real bargain. We capture the Duke. And we'll just go here and teach them more. And now we should bring back our retinue, which is dying away over there. I'm not particularly fond of that. Ah, perfect. Our son needs some guidance, so we could make him ambitious, which is pretty neat, except for anyone who's also ambitious, or we could make him patient. Which is also pretty good. Defense plus 20%. That is something you should not underestimate. Personal combat skill, that's all good. I believe we're going to uh, tell him to be patient and make his move at the right time. Let us do that with him. And we have one. So we send our demands. And stand down our armies including the Mamluks this is now ours this lady will not religiously convert so let us possess her and then she will probably change her tune and convert And thus, the Holy Wars of Holy Wars have been successful all around the world. Lovely. Uh, I should unpause if I want things to happen. Yes, do it. I love her dearly. Her heir is sadly of the wrong dynasty. Ah. Uh. Is your sister still alive? Yeah. Well, that, that ended badly for her. Lovely. She is now a loyal servant and will definitely convert religion. As I want her to. Good, good woman. That's what I want from you. She is a crusader. A Muslim crusader. As well as she should be. Right. How threatening are we? 23%. That's okay. For you. Oh. And we're going to do some... Oh. Oh. Hello there. The tavern we... was packed when we arrived. Door... The Regina distracted the tavern keeper while I dosed the barrels with blood of Jahi. An hour later, the mood was getting festive. That is when the Regina decided to play a prank on me, locking me into a room with three burly warriors who were staring, no, starting to rave and hallucinate. Well, apparently, our friendship ends. But I am no longer stressed. However, I am now cruel. That's okay. Not the worst trade. And we are also arbitrary now. This is kind of one of the worst trades. Because it very negatively affects your vassal opinion. Which is uh, not what you want. Let's find another wife for ourselves, shall we? Someone a little 
closer in age, closer in age. Something in her early 20s, huh? A little snack, a little snaggity snack. That sounded way creepier than I intended it. But that's okay. I hope. Um, I'm not impressed with what I'm seeing here. Uh, well, let's get the attractive one there. That's gonna be good enough for us. My heir is sick. Get the court physician. Who are you fighting, my friend? Uh, fighting? Okay. Yeah, fight them for stuff. Definitely. What are you? Mongol. Historian. What are you fighting for exactly? Colonia. What is Colonia? This is Colonia. Right. You could spare fealty to him, but not war. Ah, we have. What? Oh, I forgot about these guys. I always forget about these guys. I'm so sorry. One title can be usurped. Totally. Give us that title there. And give it to this boy. Which one was it? Sultanate of Syria. No, thank you. I'm not giving that away. Hmm. I don't remember which one I just took. I was some quick thinking there. Galilee, no, those are mine. This one. Nah. Uh, you can have this. Enjoy. Be grateful. He's doing something. Isn't great. Ave de Turon. Why does that sound so French? Oh well, we're not gonna question it just now. And things are looking up. We're taking back some ancestral lands there. Oh, Egypt is this now. Are you no longer Egypt? What are you? You are Egypt. How is this also Egypt? What? That looks like it might be a little bit of a mistake. How are you, Bari? You're not Bari. I am Bari. I think the game is a little bit befuddled. I don't exactly know what's going on. Hey, you. How about... I don't have anything. Uh, let's check one thing. Found a new empire. Prestige. We don't have a lot of that. Everything else we got, which would be nice. Let's ransom a bunch of people. Um... Yeah. Going all right. Kind of just preparing for inevitable death. And maybe we get to change one law in his lifetime again. We have abolished the council power. We have set up a decent successor who has food poisoning and is already stressed while being just 15 years old. That is great. He's also shy but diligent and patient, so he's not the worst. He might just come around still. He might just come around. 